Hello and welcome to the 28th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at setting the shape texture. We'll be using the source code from the 23rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have look at, looked at setting the shape's colour, but we can also set the shape's texture similar to setting a texture for a sprite. A cool example of, the, of this could be using a circle and setting a texture which could be a circular window perhaps. You may be wondering why you would do this instead of just creating a regular I mean a rectangular sprite with alpha around the window. One reason uh, for this could be collision detection as it will be easier with a circle shape uh, for this example and it will probably use less memory as well so it's a win-win. First of all we need to actually add our texture so I'm going to copy and paste this texture I have into this folder where we put our image for the sprite texture I have a JPEG image, but you can have obviously a PNG if you want. So let's just open this up. First of all, we need to declare a texture. So if we do SF texture, I'm just going to name this texture texture. Now we're going to initialize the texture. So I'm going to do if uh, not texture dot load from file. Basically, if it Styles will just basically for, for now it's going to pump out a C out error, but obviously in your proper game final game you'll probably want to do something a bit better than just pumping out an error. Maybe trying to load from a different directory or loading a backup image perhaps. Error. Error. STD and line. Hopefully, this doesn't appear. We have added our image. Final step is to assign the texture to the shape. So we're going to do circle.set texture. I'm going to do ampersand and the name of our texture, which is texture. Like, like a sprite, we can also set the texture rec, but let's just show you what happens if we just run it like this. We have our circle and we have our texture, our brick texture. Now it's going to set our texture rect. So I'm going to do circle.set texture rect. And this takes a SF into rect. And in here we can say it starts at 0, 0 and goes to 2045. And what you'll notice is texture looks a lot more blurred. And the reason it looks blurred is because we're using a smaller area of the texture but we're still covering the entire circle so it's been extended more. Uh, again this will be depend on your, ex on your game, on the situation, on how you want to do it but here's how you do it. Last thing to note is that we did this on a circle shape but you can do it on other shapes as well. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at drawing but using vertex arrays. All the requirements for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.